What is going on guys and welcome back to a new video Here with Nico in the garage but this time we're not working on his IS300 We're working on his Subaru WRX STI Now this is the first video we're gonna be taking, modifying this car And Nico's, like always, starts straight away Straight into it, ready to go. So what are we doing Nikos? What's on the plan for today? Uh, we're going to be installing my NVIDIA gun pipe with a uh, X-Force cap back exhaust. Awesome. And that should make this Rexy sound as tough as it goes. Because trust me, this thing actually goes so good. We drove it last night, we took it out to um, the roll racing, which um, was an awesome event as well. Check out the previous video to see how that was. And if you already haven't seen us introduce this car to the channel, please be sure to check that one out. I'll put the link up right there and you can check that out for yourselves before you watch this. And um, yeah, we took the Rexy there last night and driving late at night, cold night was well, unbelievable. So Nico's already taken off his intercooler and you can see straight off the bat, that this intercooler is actually much larger than a normal WRX intercooler because of course this is STI now Nico's already put a um, what blow valve is this? Uh, GFB GFB blow valve sounds sick first time I heard it was last night so now we'll take all these bolts off here get the dump pipe off and then we'll get the car up on the quick jacks and we'll take the rest of the exhaust off. So I'll put you guys in the time lapse and just catch us doing that. Man, I'm so happy with these quick jacks. Look how high they've lifted the car off the floor. Literally, up to my knee height. It's crazy. So we can get it all underneath there. Do everything we've got to do with the exhaust. Plenty of room under here. Honestly, purchasing these quick jacks is probably one of the best things that I've ever done. Such a great purchase. And whoever wants one of these, I 100% recommend you getting a quick jacks if you're doing a lot of work at home and a lot of work on the floor it makes your life just a little bit so much easier you don't have to carry around jacks jack stands and so on oh, of course you're gonna have to put jack stands on there just to be extra careful it makes your life so much easier than jacking one side at a time and putting a jack stand each side and so on and so forth you know what I mean now Nicole's just gone to go pick up some heat wrap so while he goes to get that so we can wrap the dump pipe I'm going to start taking this shielding off and when he comes back we should be ready to take off the dump pipe take off the rest of the exhaust and we'll get him to actually show us the exhaust because I can't seem to find it here and I really want to see what it looks like he's come with the bar so what are you holding here? I'm holding my 3 inch X-Force cap back 3 inch X-Force Very nice. <laughs> One, two, three. When's the last time you did squats, man? About a week ago, a week ago. So what, what's this NVIDIA thing here? Uh, NVIDIA catted down pipe. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the reason why you went NVIDIA um, down pipe and X-Force exhaust? Let's try something different. And obviously, let's let's face it, you're not paying two and a half thousand yeah. dollars for NVIDIA cap back when this thing sounds awesome and is one third of the price. Yep. So, it was a no brainer for us. Not sponsored. Yeah, no, we're not sponsored. Not yet. But we had an X Force on the i300 as well, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. And that worked a treat as well. It's like Christmas came early. Yeah. Am I allowed to say mayhem? Is that um at least 
You can say what you want. Ah, nice tip. Yeah. Look how shiny Let's leave that right, for now. Guys, I'm going to be installing my cardboard exhaust. Cardboard dump pipe. <laughs> what a head. <laughs> Where are you? Me? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, here's the two comparisons with both the dump pipes. You can see straight away that this much, this one has a much bigger hole coming off the back of the turbo. And then this one had the block off here for the wastegate. So it's going to uh, flow a lot more air, a lot more exhaust gases, and Nico's going to be just a little bit more spoolie boy. Yes. So that's exciting. So now we're going to take the rest of the cap back off. Get that all ready, and while Nico's doing that, I'm gonna be wrapping that dump pipe in this heat wrap, soaking in some water. I think we'll just bench press the whole cat back out in one go. You got it off! Xbox one looks pretty much the same. Yeah, I know. I'm going to be surprised to see if it actually makes some noise or not. It's just a free inch. Yeah. Oh, should be good. Sweet. Well, you want me to take it for a drive? Yeah. You want me to drive the Supra? Nah, um, nah. Take not, the Supra for a drive? I'm not going to go in the Supra like that. Wash your hands. No, my back's all dirty, but... Take your shirt off. No, no, no. Another time, I'll take it for a drive. Come on, man. Give us a flex, man. Whoosh. Either once in a lifetime opportunity, I might not ask you again. It doesn't even let me drive it anymore. No, you drive it and you say you're just going to take it for a cruise and then you do second heat gear pulls in the Supra. 600 horsepower pulls. <laughs> so, the first thing... <laughs> the first thing Nick saw of my video, <laughs> the last video we took of the Supra. I was away for work and I got a, I got a call saying, hey, do you mind if I take the Supra out? It's just a cruise. I'm like, oh yeah, go for it. And the next thing I see, I see a pop up on my on my Instagram Instagram notification saying 600 horsepower Supra pulls, and I click on the video and he's doing pulls in the Supra. Well, he told me he's taking on a light cruise. That was a light cruise. You watch what happens when the RX-7 is ready. You watch what I'm gonna do to it. Oh. What are you gonna do to it? You watch. What are you gonna do? You watch. Hey, you know what's funny? 200 horsepower cruise. 200 horsepower cruise. Yeah. Once you got two red cars. Look at this driveway, guys. Well, well, and well. We've got three red cars and three white cars. We should have put the Subi in here. That would have been a mad thumbnail, to be honest. Okay, I just finished wrapping Nico's dump right now. It's got a cat from the top all the way to the back. It's all cat there. Yeah. High flow cat. High flow cat. Looks so good. So we just wrapped the top part. That's where the most heat's going to be from the turbo. So that should be more than good enough. So we're going to put that from the bottom. Just fitting up the last Love bolts Daddy. for the dump pipe. Andrew, this is where the finger work comes into it. Show us what those fingers can do. Oh, you'll be surprised, man. Mechanic fingers. Give me a pose. Oh, nice work on the champion. Thanks, buddy. Oh, <laughs> oh fuck, you hurt yourself? I don't know. Sorry. For my brick people. Villa. <laughs> hey! I mean, my sister people. I hope they heard that. I would like to see all the Greek people respond to that. What's up? Oh. <laughs> Alright, just some progress guys. Dump pipe is all bolted up. You can see the heat shield wrapping there. Looks nice and neat. We're just going to put the exhaust shield there. Just the standard factory one, which is right here. Nico's gone ahead and bolted up the rest of it underneath. 
everything fits up perfect. So anyone that wants to put an NVIDIA downpipe with the X-Force cap back, everything bolts up nice. Only thing we have to do here is to tighten this clamp up right there because that part slides into here and we just got to tighten that up right there and then should be ready to drop I guess. Alright guys, after a couple hours of work, some dirty hands, I think she's just about right to start. Nico's excited, I sure know I'm excited. This thing is going to sound sick. It's going to sound like a real WRX STI, not like before. Oh, we didn't even take it before. Oh my god. We just wanted to put this thing on so bad we forgot to take it before. Um... You know what started up there? Alright guys, before we give the car the first cold start and take it for a drive so we can hear exactly how it sounds We just got sent a package from our good friends at 2 Savage Let's have a look inside what there's in there Awesome boxing Apparently, smells pretty good too yeah, it's so nice Andrew, dreams over reality you got this. Thanks guys for the inspirational message. And here we have a fresh set of shades. You can wear them to the beach, you can wear them at work, you can wear them wherever you like. You can wear them anywhere. Nico's got a pair as well, he loves them. I've got three Absol pairs. And they are absolutely amazing. They're very affordable, they're very cheap. Like I said, you can wear them wherever you want. Um, here's my discount code below right here uh, you can use this code on their website and you can get 10% off your entire purchase thanks guys now let's go check out this cold start let's go warm up we'll pack our tools up and then once it's a bit warmer we'll give it a few revs and we'll show you guys exactly how the x-force exhaust sounds on the super wrx sti revs just dropped down now it's so much quieter it's exactly what you wanted yeah I'm any happier. beautiful perfect perfect man perfect what <laughs> just tripped <laughs> over <laughs> I think we're a bit tired after today. Uh, we'll start packing some tools up and just double check, make sure all the hoses are on. And that's his new uh, GFE blow off valve, by the way. Oh no, that's not on. Whoops. There you go. That's his new GFE blow off valve. Sounds awesome. We'll show you guys that too. Alright, so we'll let it warm up and go from there. This smoke that's coming out of there, I don't know if you can see it. That's just because when I was wrapping the dump pipe, I soaked the wrap in water just so we can get that extra stretch on there. So that's all going to burn off a of steam. Yeah. That it comes on to boost a lot better. Yeah. God, that sounds oh, mental. That's why it's hard again. It did. Oh, that sounds mental, man. It's a 
a whole different car. I wish we put it before and after. Yeah, it doesn't matter. We got too excited. We just wanted to <laughs> install that exhaust that first moment we had. We don't usually get free time anymore, but we're trying to make things happen. Before Nico gets too excited, we start doing some more happy laps. More happy laps. Make the neighbors angry. Catch you guys in a bit. All right, let's give it some revs. Loves it, guys. <laughs> Absolutely. It loves mad. it. Sounds awesome. <laughs> oh. Beautiful. All in all, Nico's very happy. I'm very happy with purchase here for the price that I paid for for the dump pipe and the exhaust it's yeah good perfect what I wanted I did not want something too loud I wanted something that's like a little bit more subtle still have that to still have that deep boxer sound as well but yeah good. Happy. very happy awesome way, yeah. it goes better too I gotta get the tune as well more videos coming don't worry yeah don't worry <laughs> catch you in the next one guys see ya